No, my name's uh, Terry, Terry Formby. I'm 64. I had to retire from work at 52. Through well health. Six months later, they gave me five to six years to live. So I went to the Winter Clinic to get off the drink, and that's when I became a member of the Readers' Organisation. And uh, it's helped me out a lot because it's given me another purpose. I attended one of the conferences that the reader held and was really inspired by the work that they'd done. And when I've been sitting in on groups, it's been interesting to see how people who have very limited speech and communication um, can engage with poetry. And so somebody who hasn't really said anything for part of the group will suddenly pick up something that maybe stimulates a memory from their childhood. By taking place in libraries, it's, uh, it's bringing people into a, a venue that I, I think we associate with general uh, health and well-being. Well, I think it's it's a nice place to have it because it's a place to study and a place to learn. And shared reading helps greatly in allowing them a space to take it away from being all about them. They're not talking to a doctor; they're talking to people in the same situation as they're in. It's quite. Uh, often that people become very isolated, particularly if they've got some kind of a disability or they're living with dementia or they've got a, a mental health issue that means they're not able to get out. So a group like this will enable people to get out from their home and has a beneficial effect on reducing their isolation. Simple things like being able to talk with each other, anything that sort of helps that process is good. I think that one of the main things is listening to everybody's point of view. Everybody has a chance to talk, everybody, if they want to. And so you might disagree profoundly with what somebody says, but it's just interesting to listen, listen to somebody else's take of it. If you're at home reading the book, all you've got is your point of view. I come up with a, a, an idea, or a member of the group comes up with an idea, a theme, uh, and then I'll go and try and find a poem that fits that theme. I do find that people have gained a lot of confidence. I met Mark Haddon and he said to me, just always just be you and that's what you try to be and that's through being the reader organisation. I am, I'm just me. It spawns a lot of other things because people who are in that reading group then come to different events, different author events. Because of the model that we have, it's not like an ordinary reading group. You don't have to say anything. You don't even have to read if you don't want to. But that sheer act of a shared read something magical happens. Every year is a, a, a different adventure with the reader organisation. I've also become a volunteer. I read to an elderly lady. I do get more now to me than what I thought of when I first started and I'm hoping giving something back. Shared reading is a really cost-effective and powerful intervention to avoid the need for more expensive health care in the longer term I think that's been demonstrated and it's certainly something that I would advocate for strongly. Before joining the reading group, um, I was in hospital once a month, every week. You work out how much that costs, the NHS. I've only been in one night since like eight years ago. Mm -hmm.